Many successful stories have a great beginning. Sophia Minnerts was no different. Like anything, it starts with like your family and just the things that I was exposed to as a kid. So with my dad, Alan, being a, a high school football coach and that's just what my brothers and I grew up around. Um, you know, I, I often say, if you've seen the movie, Remember the Titans, then, you know, I was that coach's daughter. That's just what we did. In Sophia's case, though, hers wasn't just a success. It was almost written for Hollywood. A little girl who grew up in Madison, the daughter of Edgewood football coach, Al Minner. She went on to play sports in high school, attends Marquette University, and winds up staying in the state her entire career, working a dream job in sports broadcasting. The twist here is she was one of the very few first women, almost a pioneer of sorts, to work full time for a franchise in a field dominated by men. If you just make it about the work and if you just make it about doing this job as well as you can, it shouldn't matter whether you're male or female or your age or your experience or anything like that. And I think because that was just always my mindset, um, I think that really helped me, honestly. like. I just thought my job was to do as good of a job as I possibly could and, and it didn't matter, you know. I was really young when I started. Um, yeah, I, I pioneer is a big word to me. Um, I, I've just always kept it about just doing a really good job and the work should speak for itself. Sophia will be the first to tell you being bilingual has been advantageous in a sport heavily influenced by Latin players. El bateo has tenido mucho éxito este viaje también. El home run hoy, otro hit. ¿Cómo se siente con su bateo? No, contento, contento que pueda ayudar. She thanks her mother, Silvia, who grew up in Costa Rica and insisted all of her children speak Spanish and English. But having the camaraderie of women in the field like herself has been the foundation of her career. You see women in across all the sports, in all of the roles of play-by-play -play, and as analysts and as reporters and hosts. And I think that's wonderful to have that representation. I think probably the biggest people that have affected me are just the women that I have met specifically now working in baseball. You know, I think about someone like Alana Rizzo who came through the Madison market and she, her career has taken a number of different turns, but I think her specifically, she also spoke Spanish. She was a great resource for me in that regard of how to do the mechanics of that, you know, on air, translating interviews. And uh, she's been a great friend of mine for a long time now. And, and there's another, a number of other women across the industry um, that work with other teams, that work with other networks. Sophia will be the first to tell you her most proud moment in her career was sharing the stories of the players from the Dominican. So you can say that Dominican baseball players are developed in a true farm system. What her calling is mentorship. Now having the opportunity to mentor students at Marquette or have meetings or have people come out in shadow. I think that's always really fun and I try to always be mindful of that of you know I had a lot of people do that for me and so I think anytime you have the opportunity to do that for somebody else you, you should I personally think that you know it's, it's our responsibility to do that um, I've got a great group of you know female friends in this industry that I count on as well and we talk about that all the time